Hello. So back again, this time with the Great Joy 35mm T2.9 1.8x anamorphic lens. This is a prototype lens, which means that things are still changing. The image is not final. I do think that, that it is definitely heading in the right direction. This has quickly become my favorite in the set, uh, which I didn't really expect. And that's a pleasant little surprise. It is a very smooth aperture ring. In fact, I think that it is a little bit smoother than the 50 millimeter over there and it has slightly softer stops which is just really nice the witness marks are now in meters and feet which i know a lot of people are going to like and it still has that really nice focus throw from the 50 millimeter the markings are engraved they're not just painted on you still get everything that you used to get in the previous box so you have your fantastic metal lens caps these are really nice the only reason that i've swapped them out is because i've got 95 millimeter adapters on there you get a ef mount if you buy the pl mount version the ef mount unlike the one that came with the 50 mil is now black all around and they have lengthened the screws that come with it which is going to make them harder to lose <laughs> which i do nearly every time i change the mount on the 50 millimeter and they've also included a couple of extra screws which is really nice to see the pl mount on this version uh, seems to fit a little bit more snug in the cameras which i really appreciate my 50 mil was a little bit loose in the c500 not not so loose that it was a problem by any means but just you know i noticed that it it didn't quite get as you know friction tight as i really wanted it to and the rear element does not protrude as far back as the one on the 50 mil which means that you may have better luck um, putting this onto cameras with uh, internal nds and stuff like that the lens is really well made and covers most of your sensor uh, i've tested it in open gate 4.3 mode but if you do shoot 3x2 you'll probably have to crop the sides off a little bit but that's somewhat normal with these lenses practically no focus breathing no squeeze change and the color matches really nicely between the 50 mil and the 35 millimeter this 50 is probably a little bit warmer in the mid-tones and the 35 is maybe a little bit brighter overall um, but nothing that you can't correct in post. Did a quick uh, lens flare test as you can see the lens is quite hard to make flare now again I'll clarify by saying that this is a prototype I don't know if that will change by the time uh, the lens gets to you but personally I'm not really into a lot of streak flares but you know do get some flares if you're, if you're looking for them else i think that's all so yeah um that's just been a little brief overview of the great joy 35 millimeter uh, prototype that i have got here i'm very thankful for the opportunity to take a look at it like i say this has fast become my favorite of the set so far very excited to see uh how the 85 turns out i'm really looking forward to that you know the 85 is really going to make this um a complete budget set of anamorphic lenses and that's really exciting the other really exciting news is that Great Joy have said that they are looking into making a 135 millimeter as part of the set. So that is really cool. You're going to have a relatively affordable anamorphic set that ranges from 35 mil, 50 mil, 85 mil, and then 135. That that's really cool. That is going to be a very heavy lens case, I tell you. Anyways, um, till next time. Hope you like the video.